Good afternoon. <clears throat> How are we doing? Mr. Good afternoon, Kevin. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Sam. Hello. For those of you that haven't connected with me, scan that QR code on your screen. I would love to connect on social. Uh, you can text me, tweet me. Is MySpace still a thing? If it is, I'm there. Um, but I'd love to connect. It's fun to connect with people from all over the country. So give that a scan and then I will stop sharing that and I will start sharing. Are we ready to go or do you want to do a little intro? Or yeah, I'll do a little intro. So obviously welcome everybody to our Canva class. Uh, for those of you that I've never met, my name is Kevin Thatcher, the owner of Independence Title. For those of you that are Charles Ruttenberg agents, because they were the ones that kind of co-sponsored this with us, welcome. Uh, if you've never met me yet, I'm the in-house title company over here right next door. Uh, we've been there a little over, I don't know, 15, 16, 17 years. We've lost count. Uh, but we are there simply on our merit because we add value, as much extreme value to the agents as we can. So there's no joint venture. There's no requirement to use us. We're simply here as an added value. Hopefully events like this, trainings like this, seminars that we put on just add as much value to you as an agent, make you a better agent, more successful agent, more profitable agent. If you are a uh, Charles Ruttenberg agent and you have not signed up for the annual conference coming up in May, I suggest you do so. I will be there. We have tons of goodies uh, that are gonna be there. Tons of agents. I think there's what Michelle's about 700 agents uh, expected to be there from all over the country. So please sign up. And if any of you are not Ruttenberg agents and you'd like to know about the United Conference, please give Michelle a call, reach out to her. She'll be happy to tell you all about the amazing conference they have coming up, very technology driven. Uh, they are on the forefront of technology and, and just developing tools to make agents better. So today we are joined with Sam, uh, as always, we did have a four-part series of training. He did such a great job. They said, we need Sam back. So he did create this Canva class for us. If you'd like to see the other four classes that we did, just simply go to titlerate.com, click on the YouTube channel. You subscribe to our YouTube channel. Look at the last four uploads. Uh, there may be one or two in between, but the last couple of uploads, you will see all four classes, everything from social media. We did one on QR codes. We did one on title fraud. Uh, with Canva today and then next week. Don't forget, uh, we do, um, most of you have registered. We have the new contracts. We're doing a class. We're bringing on an attorney from WFG to talk about the brand new contract that came out in November. If you have not registered for that, sorry, there are no seats available. We are 100% full for that class. All seats are taken, but again, we will record it. And if for any reason the recording doesn't work, we will uh, reschedule for a, uh, another class. So Sam, you are up, take over. Thank you everyone for joining us. Any questions, put them in the chat bar or connect with us on social media. Awesome. Kevin, thanks for having me again. It's always, it's always fun to be with you guys. And I actually mean that there's always so much conversation going on in the chat and, uh, I've connected with so many people. So thanks for connecting with me coming to you live from El Paso, Texas, uh, I'm going to share my screen. So the way I decided to break this down, so canva.com, um, that's what, uh, years back, I used things like Publisher, um, you know, uh, different Adobe products to create all of my graphic design stuff. It took a long time. Uh, there weren't a lot of templates. It was basically, I had to be the one that came up with the ideas. And if you're anything like me, there are other people that are more creatively inclined than I am. So because of that, Canva is an awesome product. There is a free version and a pay version. The pay version is still super affordable. And the only difference is access to a little bit more templates and a lot of stock photography and video. Um, but the free will work for what we're looking for. So when you log into canva.com, you'll notice it gears you towards all kinds of things right off the bat. The, here's how you can see that I use it on a regular basis from review flyers to helping to create logos, all of my presentations um, I create here on Canva. So uh, at the end of the day, the first thing you're going to want to do is search real estate and you'll see what happens. It's pretty amazing. All kinds of things will start to come up. Um, the first one that I'm going to touch on, and we're going to have 10 today. I know a lot of you probably uh, have somebody that designs and prints your real estate signs. However, in today's world, standing out is everything. So um, shouldn't have clicked on that. 
So being able to create your own signs and have them cheaply printed, uh, things with QR codes, with virtual tours, text engagement on the fly, people driving by, all that stuff is really cool. And you'll see what happens when I type that in here. So the first one we're gonna talk about is real estate signage. So there's all kinds of templates in here. And don't forget, each one of these templates can be resized for any purpose. So just because it's a sign doesn't mean it can't be a social post or a postcard or things like that. And I'm going to show you exactly how to resize them in just a moment. So when you pick one of these, I want to show you right off the bat a really easy way to brand them for yourself, right? So if I were to click on, uh, let's pick one. It's nice and simple. So if I were to click on this one, right, it's already pre-populated. If I want to just add in my information, you know, an address or a price or anything like that, I can easily do that. Another thing I can easily do is to add my logo. And so when I do that, and I'm trying to move this chat over here. So if I were to drag over Independence Titles logo, check out how easy it is to really brand it to yourself. So that uploaded, here it is. So if I wanted to add my company's logo and I just pasted it in there and I'm using independence as an example, these colors don't exactly match, right? It doesn't look branded to me. Now check out how easy it is for me to rebrand this to my colors. So once I put my logo on this document and I literally just dragged it and dropped it onto there, you could copy and paste it off your website, whatever. When I click on any element here, I'm going to click on this one. Here's the color of this element. When I click on that color, it's automatically picked up here, the colors from that logo. So in literally a matter of a few seconds, if I were to go through, um, let's do the blue on this one. Let's change these two to this color. In literally a few clicks and a few seconds, I all of a sudden have rebranded this to my company colors. So. Again, all I did was drag and drop my logo there and any color that you want to change, this little phone symbol. All I'm doing is coming up here to the color and it already has picked up the colors from my logo to make it super easy to rebrand this. And I'll just for fun, um, click both of these elements uh, and then I pick a couple colors from the logo once again. And in a matter of seconds, I have literally rebranded this where it reflects my colors. The font is pretty close to matching um, the font from the Independence Title logo, and I'm good to go. And so keeping consistent with brand is really important, and Canva makes it super, super simple. Um, so again, all I did was drag and drop my logo, and then I can easily select those colors. So there's one quick example. In two seconds, I could enter in my name enter in my phone number. Isn't it funny how you like forget how to type when people are watching? It's like you could type a million words a second by yourself and then someone's watching and it's like, I forgot how to type. Um, and I have a piece there. So I won't talk a bit this, about this on the other sections, but there's a couple things when, it, when you're talking about designing business cards or postcards or yard signs, they've actually added a feature here um, that connects with one of their vendors where you can literally go in and order these signs if you wanted to straight from here. And when it comes to business cards, you can actually pick the um, the paperweight, whether it's matte or glossy, whether it's double-sided, all that kind of stuff right from here. So I thought that was kind of cool. And anytime you create anything, this little share button up here is gonna be your best friend. When you click share, not only could I copy the link and share this project with somebody else, maybe somebody on my team to show them what I'm working on, but I can. here's where I can also download it. You can share directly to social. You can ask it for it to be printed. And when you download, you're always going to have a bunch of options. You can download a high quality PNG that's really you know, good for a website, good to uh, use as a graphic on other graphics if you're using creating a logo or something like that. JPEG, also good for emailing because it's a small file size good for social posts, PDF, PDF print. Um, if you wanted, if you needed a vector, a professional vector, which could be sized to anything, you can do that. Videos, GIFs, and more. So literally any version of this, you can simply download and use to post straight to social. So again, the first example I wanted to give was real estate signage. The second example I would like to give is real estate cards. So, um, you know, some of us are moving companies, some of you may be moving companies based on, on this, uh, the value that, that Kevin and his team are bringing to you guys in the upcoming conference. 
Um, but being able to create your own cards on the fly is, is kind of a fun thing. You may have somebody that does it for you, but it's, it's really awesome when you can do it yourself. And you'll notice that anytime you hover over something, it will show you all of the slides, in this case, the front and the back of any card that you're looking at. And again, look at the amount. There's 17,894 templates for real estate business cards. So whether you want a square card or a typical 16 by nine style card, like a landscape style uh, card, whatever it is that you're looking for, you're gonna be able to find it. And so the second thing that I think is really powerful is card. And again, everything in here is customizable. So anytime I click on it, if I wanna replace pictures with a listing of mine or my hometown, for example, um, all I would do is click that photo and say, you know what, I don't want that. I can simply go over to photos and if I wanted to talk about El Paso, when I search El Paso, look at all of the photos of my hometown that come up. And all I need to do to replace this photo is drag and drop right there. I've now replaced the photo. Super easy if I wanted to put my name in here, for example, or uh, wanted to say coming soon, for example. Anytime you wanna resize something, you can always do it up here under font size, but you can also simply drag as well. And so if I wanted to keep this all in that, make it fit nicely, there you go. And so obviously you can tell it's super, super simple. And again, if I said, hey, I want my logo on this, I could delete the template logo, simply drag over my logo. There it is, resize it, and here you go. So you can see it really is kind of a drag and drop thing. So the second thing is real estate business cards. Um, the third thing I want to talk about is really cool, and I think you guys will absolutely love this. So uh, if you search for real estate um, slideshow videos, you are going to see a bunch of templates for real estate slideshow videos, as it, as it says. And again, all of this is 100% customizable. So here's one right here, and you see as I hover over it, it starts to play and gives me a little bit of a preview of what it looks like. And check out how easy it is to go in and customize one of these videos that could be great for marketing on social media, could be great for adding to your website as a portfolio of listings or past listings. You'll see down here um, when it's videos, it looks a little different. This is somewhat how um, presentations look. You'll see that all the slides are down here. And if I want to skip one, all I have to do is click it. This slide is as customizable, just like a graphic is. All I have to do is click. Again, I can't, I can't type when, um, when, I, when people are watching, so forgive me. Um, I can easily replace these images. I can replace them with my own videos or with just simple images really quickly and easily. Say I wanted to replace that video, I could easily get rid of it. And if I wanted the El Paso picture in there, I could add it here resize it and pop that right in there. So this would probably be a picture of my listing or maybe a little video that you take on your cell phone from the front of that listing. And if you see right in the middle of the screen there, that little uh, dashed line, it will always tell you when you're right in the middle, you'll see them intersect when you're right in the middle of everything like that. So when you're trying to make sure that it fits well, look for those little uh, you know, pinkish fuchsia colored lines and it will kind of direct you as to where to drop things but you would simply go through here. You could edit all of these. And a lot of these templates are already built out to where you're literally just clicking and adding in your name, right? So you can add and remove them. You can do whatever you'd like. You can move them around and shift them. And then another cool thing with these videos is, say I've decided I'm good to go, I'm ready. Um, you can pick different audio that's built into the Canva platform. So, uh, you know, you can see a couple of things that I've searched in the past. Here's one that's not, that's a uh, feel lucky. So if I click on that, it is now going to use that audio in my video and it's rendering it. It's called really quickly. And so with literally just plugging in a couple pictures, here's three slots, right? So this could be one, two, three pictures of your listing. You could do that for every slide. And then very quickly, I'll go to the beginning. Um, you have created a slideshow video. stop it just so the music's not going. I'm a big fan of BombBomb. Bomb. Um, it is a 
software program that I use to send videos to people. You can track when people click and things like that. So a video like this, I would probably upload to BombBomb and send to my sphere of influence. Make sure my seller sees that I'm sending it out as another way to add value to your services for them. But the slideshow video is a heavily underutilized and super, as you could tell, super simple uh, way to get your listings out there. It could be a video about all kinds of other things too. It could be something about first time home buyers. Um, it could be, you know, and, and the great thing about stuff like this is not only is there a template, but if you go to Inman News or Housing Wire or, um, you know, in our case, the title report, all these different publications, NAR.com, all of this stuff, you can pull all kinds of information and literally turn uh, an article into a video pretty simply. So I love real estate slideshow videos. The templates are here. They're really simple to make. Um, look how cool this one looks, you know, as, as it begins. Think the graphics slide onto the screen. You download them in a simple MP4, MP4 and you can upload it to social media super, super easily. So the, the third one is real estate slideshow videos. The fourth one I want to talk about is just generic videos. Um, those are specific slideshows, but a lot of people didn't don't realize that uh, Canva has some really cool video templates as well. And so these are not necessarily real estate specific, but you could easily repurpose them for what you want. Whether you're looking to create a bumper for the beginning five seconds or so and the end five seconds or so for videos you're making, you can easily do that here by dragging and dropping uh, uh, your logo and things like that. Or if you're looking to just create a little bit of an engaging video for a new listing or for an event coming up, all of these templates are here and everything is totally customizable. And again, the people that have created these are more uh, creative than I am. So it's awesome to be able to have all of these templates. So uh, how do you get it on BombBomb? I have BombBomb. So Hope, the easiest way to do that is when you go into BombBomb, when it gives you the option to either record or upload a video, you'll save that video to your desktop straight out of Canva or whatever folder you want. And then you'll click upload and you'll upload it straight from your computer and it will insert that video into the BombBomb. That is a great way to do it. And I love hope that you're using BombBomb. It's cool. Um, so don't forget that, uh, and I think this is what, number five, number one, two, three, four, um, videos. So there are all kinds of video templates, video collages uh, when you go on Canva and they are easily, like I showed you, customizable. So don't forget that you can use those too. Um, so some of you have uh, full-on marketing teams helping with, with different things. Some of you may not. Um, and some of you probably want to be able to create something kind of on the fly. So real estate brochures is the fifth use that I see for Canva working really, really well. Um, and I'll start uh, typing. You're welcome, Hope. I'll start typing in some of these, these 10 things just so we can remember them and I'll get them to Kevin to get to you uh, with the recording and stuff like that. But when you look, all I did was search real estate brochure and look at how many options came up. And when I look at something like a trifold brochure here, uh, let's see, here's one right here. Let's click this one. So it's going to have the front and the back. So it'll be in two pages. So you can print on both the front and the back. And it's a little simple trifold. This literally could be as simple as me going through, changing some verbiage. And then like we saw, adding my logo to it, literally dragging and dropping my logo. And then matching the colors, right? So if I wanted to put my logo, say I'm going to put it down here. Um, say I want to delete that. Going back. All we do, remember, click on the colors, click over here, and it will find the most recent colors that we have, and it'll find our logo right here. And I can literally go in and start super simply matching those colors so that it's branded to me. And in a matter of just a few seconds, I've already branded it in a way that it's obviously reflective of my logo. Um, so if I can do it, literally anybody can do it. And when it comes to these photos, you would simply go through and delete, and it, see, it already has these little frames, these blank frames. And the cool thing about that is it makes it to where you can drag and drop. So I've just deleted all four of those photos. If I wanted to upload my own, I could do that here, right? If I wanted to use their stock photos, all I would do is click here. And just because it's right here, we'll use El Paso. Let's, we'll just use this photo because it's right here and see how it, it fits it. And when you put a photo in a little frame like that, if it's not focused on what you want, all you have to do is double click. See how it opens the whole photo up there? Say, ah, this is our buddy. We're not, we're not friends with him anymore. We're going to focus on, on them. There you go. 
Um, and again, you're seeing all I'm doing is dragging and dropping to fill those frames. And these would be simple with, a, with photos from your listing or from your office, from your community, whatever it might be. And I have just rebranded this to the correct colors. You can of course go in and change fonts. You can change sizes. Um, you don't need to worry necessarily about animate, but one of my favorite effects, if you're looking at what this is, so say I wanted to take my name and really make it stand out. The effects button gives you all kinds of different options. One of my favorite is neon. And so you can see what happened there. It turns it into a little bit of a neon, uh, a neon effect. You can also curve it if you wanted to put it around a photo or something like that. Um, all kinds of cool different things. Um, but those are all under effects. And within a matter of seconds, you could go through and generate a brochure, two-sided, branded to you, ready to go for an individual listing. Um, you could, of course, use these as a social post if you didn't want to print them. Um, but brochures are my fifth use for Canva for real estate. Um, so my sixth use, and this one I really like because, uh, you know, I'll, I'll show you why. There are all kinds. Does anyone remember like when we were all sending out newsletters, right? We were all creating newsletters. We're not doing that quite as much anymore. We're certainly not printing them anymore. Um, but all of these newsletter templates are literally plug and play. We saw how simply we could rebrand them. Um, a lot of them actually already have pretty decent content. So if you really wanted to be like, you know, a, a little like lazy on a Sunday, it'd be pretty easy to do something like this. Um, but you'll see these little, uh, these newsletters, they're already printed out. They're, or they're already created. They're already totally laid out. Some of them already even have some verbiage. A few of them are more than one page, but if you ever say, I wanted to do this newsletter, if I wanted to duplicate the page to make another page, all you're gonna do is click this little plus sign up here. And now I have two pages, right? I want three pages, I'm gonna click it again. Now I have three pages. And so it's super, and here they are listed right down here. And so it's super simple to create a good looking newsletter that you could then, like we talked about, download into a PDF, you could download as a PNG and upload this to your social media. Um, if you uploaded them back to back on Instagram, people could scroll through your newsletter right on Instagram if you wanted. Um, but newsletters, I think, are coming back, especially when they're locally and very community based. So I, if you're going to do a newsletter, make it about a specific neighborhood. Become the expert of that neighborhood. These are great for mailers and Popeyes, but they're also great to be able to download digitally and use for um, digital and social content as well. So number six um, is newsletters. Again, super simple to do. So the seventh one uh, is just simple social graphics. So the cool thing about these is not only are they optimized for social, uh, how do you send those new letters out to an email base uh, where it is not PDF that needs to be open? So if I was going um, to answer that hope, so if I was going to use one of those newsletters, I would download it. If I wanted a PDF, if I wanted to print it, I would use a PDF. The quality is going to be much higher than a PDNG or a JPEG. If I wanted to put it out in an email blast, I would download it as a PNG and then insert those PNGs right into the body of the email. You can do that on Gmail. You could certainly do that on Outlook. And if you're using something like, um, like MailChimp or Constant Contact or whatever, you can drag and drop those images straight into the body of the email. And then I would always make sure that those are hyperlinked back to, if it's a specific uh, property, back to a landing page for that property, or at least back to your website. Um, so hopefully that answers that question. So when you go into these social graphics, they'll be sized for all kinds of different things. A lot of these you'll notice are square. So they're sized uh, for Instagram. Obviously that works on other platforms as well, but I wanna show you just how simple it is if I were to pick this one. So again, I'm gonna pick uh, a template that I like. I'm going to drag and drop my logo. That took a second. Maybe I didn't get a hold of it. So I'm going to drag and drop my logo. I'm going to make sure that that's on there. And of course, if there's any uh, mandatory licensing and all that stuff, kind of information, you want to do that. So say I match my, my brand colors over here. Okay. So say I wanted to make this a different size. I don't want it to be square. I need it to be uh, a different size to fit something else. All you're gonna do is go over here to this, uh, sorry, the button kind of disappeared on me actually. Uh, so 
on this particular one, it's moved it up over here. So all I'm going to do is click on resize and every uh, possible option is going to be here. So whatever I want, whether it's an event cover, Instagram story, if I want to print it out as an eight by 11, if I want to turn it into a presentation, whatever it might be, every size is going to be over here. And all you have to do is select that size and click resize. It'll resize it. And then you can move things around uh, to make them fit the way you want them to fit. Um, so you can always resize stuff. So social post, as you saw, real estate social graphics, there are a ton of things here. Um, so sometimes when I want to get creative, rather than coming to Canva with an idea, I come to Canva looking for an idea. So I'll literally come in here and type in social graphic, uh, in your case, real estate social graphic, and see what's going on here. You know, oh, do I have an open house coming up? There's one there. I got a new listing. Boom. Easy to go. Maybe just sold. Just sold are a great thing to be showing people in your neighborhood or in a specific neighborhood that you are the real estate authority in that neighborhood. So maybe it's that. And all of these can be turned into other types of content. They could be printed, not only just post on social, but printed. They could be used on your website for anything else as well. But obviously, these templates are different than the ones that we've been seeing. And it's literally as simple as going in, changing a headshot, adding a logo, matching a couple colors and then updating contact information and you're done. They are absolutely plug and play. And something like this, look how simple it would be for me to create an open house, uh, a good looking open house graphic. All I would do is go in and say, hey, that's not my listing. So I'm gonna click on that picture, delete it. it in this case, I would have probably uploaded a photo of my listing, but instead I'll just uh, pick a generic one, right? So I'm gonna pick this drop it right in here. You can easily, if the photo is a little too bright and you would like to give it a little, uh, you know, tone it down just a little bit, you can simply click on it. And if you look at this button here, this is the transparency button. So when you click this, whatever element it is that you click, in this case, the main photo, when I click this transparency button, I'll be able to drag and make it either brighter or darker and more transparent. Um, so I wanted open house to stand out more. It didn't stand out great here. So I could move this down this way. Say this wants to stand out a little bit more. I click it. I click on black or maybe yellow, even something like a light blue or a dark blue. And now all of a sudden it's standing out a little bit better. And it was just with a couple click, um, quick clicks. So social graphics are super robust. There's a ton of them. You can make them animated if you would like. Um, when you click on any template, if you would like to animate it, there is a little button at the top. Um, and hopefully, yeah. So there's this little button right here. If I wanted to turn this into a little five second video that would just scroll through when people are scrolling through social media, when you click animate here, you can pick all kinds of different things and see how it gives you a preview on the main screen of what that would look like. Um, it, is, it is proven that video not only is served up to more people, the more eyeballs, um, but it's also more engaging according to consumers of uh, social media. So I would always recommend, you know, you could use it as a graphic uh, to create a mailer, put it on a website, whatever you want to do. But I would always recommend turning it into a little video and giving it a little bit of pop. In this case, literally, the effect is called pop. And when you download that, it'll be a little five second uh, video. You can adjust the length if you wanted to. Um, and all you'll do is download that and you can upload that to social media, to your story, whatever it is that you want right away too. I think video is a great uh, a use of this tool that not a lot of people do. Um, so another one, and this is not necessarily um, specific to real estate, but uh, the presentations feature is awesome. It, you guys have been here for any of the other classes I've done. I create all of my presentations right in Canva. It's super simple. Um, you could share, you know, you could do a pre-listing presentation and send it to a client. You could do a listing presentation and just show up on an iPad and sift through that. Um, but all of these, you'll see when you hover over them, this one has 15 slides built in. It starts to give you a little bit of a preview and maybe that's a little too professional. It's a little too dark for me. Here's an actual real estate listing one. So if I were to click on this, it is already mapped out. Uh, as the listing presentation, obviously all of us are going to be slightly different, uh, in what we choose to, to use. Um, but the slides are right here. Um, and all you would do is go in and update it yourself, add what you'd like, change some photos, and then use the presentation as your own. 
This is also a really great tool uh, presentations. If you want to become a market authority on different things, I would definitely recommend you could do live zooms where you share your screen and give a presentation, or you could record your screen um, through Canva, actually giving the presentation and then upload that video to your website, to your YouTube channel, whatever it might be. But there are all kinds of presentations in here. And if you go in and you say you want to add or delete a page, all you'll do when you go in here um, is click this little plus symbol. So when I click this little plus symbol, it's going to add another page, a blank page. If I want to reuse that page and add more information, all you do is click this and click duplicate page. And don't forget on this side over here, there's always going to be more templates that you can drag and drop different pages if you wanted to do that. So presentations is uh, the eighth use of 10. Um, I think it's a really underutilized one. There's tons and tons of really good looking um, models. And if you wanted to, to do, you know, a business presentation or a marketing presentation, you can actually search that. And when you search marketing presentation, presentations specific to something like market will come up, right? There's real estate, there's marketing, there's business presentations, there's all kinds. Um, so make sure that you check those out for sure. So one of the number one, um, let's see, one of the number one uses for social media right now that's getting the most interaction is stories. You see them on TikTok, you know, which there's also a TikTok one. Um, you, see, you see them on Instagram, you see them on TikTok. So if you search stories here, there are all kinds of pre-populated, pre-made stories. Um, some of them have moving graphics. Some of them are just static. You see something like this, right? You see where it has that reminder. If you're anything like me, you've been seeing that a lot, right? That's a Canva template that most people are using for that. Even down to the polling ones where it's this or that, they're already pre-populated for you. All you would do is click on them, add your logo, match the, the coloring so that it's branded to you. Um, and something like this could be pretty fun, right? Because I'm assuming, let's see if I'm right here. Um, one of the most, yep, I am. So one of the most popular things is which uh, people prefer, right? Maybe it's a light colored kitchen versus a dark colored kitchen. So all I would do here is literally pull up kitchens. I can drop that right into there. And here's a light one. I could drop it right into there, add my logo. And I just created a story asking people which would they prefer, uh, light cabinetry or dark cabinetry. So you can tell there's just a ton of different, uh, of, of different, yeah, this, these reminders are, are really cool. They look neat. Um, but there's just a ton of different templates. And you can also, if you want to make it a video, you can search for story videos. And then the only ones that will come up are actual moving uh, dynamic ones where the graphics are moving and things like that. So um, yeah, really cool. See how this one types out. And it's just a, a little more motivating. Um, and the neat thing there too is if you're not going to use a photo of one of your listings or of your town or something like that, when you come over here, not only is stock photography, there's also a ton of stock videos. So if I decide, you know what, this lake and these mountains don't make any sense for me, I'm in Florida and I'm, I'm looking for something on the beach. I search over here, Florida beach. Here's a bunch of things that come up. I drag and drop this in there and now it is more branded to me. This is maybe a little too light because of the color. So I click here, maybe I'm gonna make it dark blue. And all of a sudden I have my own story with my logo um, and it's a video and there it is. So I've just created a really good looking story and it's branded to me in, a, in literally a matter of a couple seconds. And then the last thing I was gonna talk about is uh, logos. So Many of you have your own logo for your business. You, of course, have your brokerage logo, but some of you have your own. If you do not have your own, I would definitely recommend coming in here and looking through some of these logo iterations. There's a ton that are kind of pre-populated that all you would need to do is go in and change. We see these relatively often lately, right, with like the cursive writing. Um, you can go in, and because you can download them as a transparent uh, PNG, that is how you could use the logo without a background to just overlay right on your photos, right on your social posts, things like that. And these are, again, as simple as, you know, my name's Sam Trimble. So if I wanted to have it ST, 
and do Sam Trimble. Apparently I have two M's in my name and I'm a lash stylist. <laughs> so see how simple that was to create my own and it'll give you different iterations. Um, and one thing when I'm creating logos that I'll always do is I'll make a couple copies and then I'll go in and just change that so that I always have the first iteration. Um, but logos are an awesome thing that you can create and one thing that I've seen some people do recently that I thought was really cool, they were creating a logo for their listings, right? Like they were creating some new, you know, luxury listing content. They had some listings they really wanted to get out there. So they were literally going in and creating a logo for that listing. So um, that they used on that marketing. So it comes like this, but there's no reason that it couldn't be, you know, 2028 20, Bob Hope, right? Like luxury at its finest or something uh, right so there's no reason that i couldn't go in and create my own uh, logo for an individual listing and does that stand out from what people are normally doing when they're marketing a listing absolutely and it just takes a couple seconds imagine saying you know being in a listing appointment and say one of the things that i do for my luxury listings at this level level is i create its own branding for this particular home so i'm going to create a logo for this home that will be on all um, of our marketing. And at the end of the day, like how cool would it be uh, for a buyer to get something at, at closing that has a logo of their home on it, right? Like that's pretty cool too. So those signs, cards, slideshow video, general videos, brochures, newsletters, social graphics, presentations, stories, or TikTok, and logos. Those are 10 things today that you could dive into and really get going on, on Canva. It was made for people like me. I am not the world's greatest designer. I am not the most creative person in the world, but I can drag and drop and I can match colors. And because of that, I've used Canva for the last several years to create all kinds of engaging marketing content. So wherever it is that you're marketing, uh, however it is that you're marketing, there's absolutely a solution on Canva for you. And like anything else that I talk about, the number one thing for you to do is now go to canva.com, open it up, start a free account and just start doing it. The templates are there for you. Um, people have far creative, more, far more creative than I have already created that stuff. So now literally all you have to do is go in and plug and play. And that is a quick one-on-one tour of Canva and 10 ideas uh, to be able to create content that you could do today. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, Sam. Awesome. I think we answered most of the questions that were in the chat, but as always, if anyone has any questions, feel free to connect with me on social media. We'll be happy to help you out. Uh, we are pretty uh, tech savvy when it comes to uh, this type of stuff, social media design and, and uh, you know, posting and hashtags, where to pose, video production. You know, we do tons of that for the title company and we're here as a resource to obviously help all of you uh, understand Canva better, <laughs> understand different types of marketing better and uh, hopefully accelerate, you know, your business to the next level because that's the goal. If you do better, we do better, and everyone wins. Um, so next week, don't forget, we do have our contract class. Uh, so for those of you that signed up, I know today we had almost 100 people registered for this class, and we only had about 35 or 40. So please, if you signed up for that, uh, please make sure you're going to be there. Don't take someone else's spot that would like to be there. Uh, but we do have 100 people registered uh, for that, and 100 is the max on Zoom. So we look forward to uh, sharing the new contract with you uh, and hopefully, you know, helping you better understand the contract, what to put in the, the different spots and, and the most recent changes to the contract. Uh, so, you know, you can write a smarter contract. So as always, thank you very much. We will uh, post more classes as they come up. We'll try and get Sam to, to help design some other ones, but that I, I think you were doing that Canva class a thousand times. I mean, you did great. So thank you so much. And it's uh, awesome. Thanks yeah. for having me. I appreciate it as always. Appreciate your support. You're very welcome. So we'll get Sam on for another class. So anyone has any questions, obviously email us, connect with us on social. Uh, we'll be happy to help you out. If not, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Go set up your Canva account. I'm going to be watching all of your social media, the ones that I'm connected with, to see what cool things you decide to use. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be done. If you don't do it and you don't start it today, you're never going to do it. So don't worry about it being perfect. Someone only sees it for 10 or 15 seconds and they won't see it again. So just start doing it. It's uh, you don't have to worry about it being absolutely perfect. So have a great day, everyone.
be successful, go get some listings, sell some homes, and hopefully you choose us for your closing. Have a good Thanks day, everyone. Thank you. Bye, guys.